Okay, welcome back to what should be the finale of this playthrough of Resident Evil 2. Last time we managed to defeat, uh, well, we managed to fight Mr. X again, and we also fought Birkin again. However, Ada got severely injured, and we have now made our way into the Umbrella Lab. Also, I just picked up the knife, because I am quickly going to actually get some use out of it. I know, unprecedented. Unprecedented, someone getting use out of the knife in a Resident Evil game. I mean, I say that, but at one point in RE1, uh, to get all of the achievements, I had to beat the game with just the knife. That was not a fun time. Unfortunately, it was a case of just a kind of run away from every fight that you could. Now my question is, can I just avoid... Do I have to fight the giant moth? Because as long as I kill the ones on this little table here, I should be able to operate the computer, right? Okay, so I operate a computer, and now I just uh, put in my kind of username, which uh, obviously is guest, G-U-E-S-T, and now that should register that, and now I should be able to go and open that door upstairs. And honestly, I'm just going to leave that giant moth where it is, because I don't think I have any real reason to do anything with it. Because, honestly, I'm just going to leave it. It'll get destroyed in the explosion. I'm not going to waste my ammo on it. However, I should probably just put... Um... You know what? No, I think... I think I'm okay for now. I'll keep the knife in my inventory until I have to come back. Okay, there's a red herb there. I know that maybe I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. It's like... I know it's like 10 seconds or 20 seconds or whatever. Okay, so I can open this up with the a weapon box key, and this is uh, Magnum parts. Okay, I'll happily take that, because those are obviously parts to upgrade for Magnum to make them. <laughs> Look, if it's gonna make the Magnum even better, I don't even like, I don't even know how to go about making the Magnum even better than it currently is. That is a I that was a complete waste of shot, but you know what? Honestly, I think I'm okay on ammo. Wasting two shots, however, is uh, not exactly ideal. You know, I, I've got to consider my bullet economy here. Also, I should probably just uh, switch to the handgun for this, because, you know. Uh, uh, I, do I have enough space here? I think I do. I definitely do. Because now I can just uh, run behind it and shoot it while it's down. There we go. And that is also dead. So this room should now be clear. And the real question is, are there any other items in this room for me to pick up? Probably not. No, wait. I just saw one of us. Uh, uh, what is this? Is this the key? Uh, the P room key. Okay, so that's a... It's not a press room, but whatever. So this is where Claire made the vaccine. At this point in the game, I don't think she would have made it yet. So honestly, it, uh, obviously it does lead to a kind of situation where you have both Claire and Leon technically running around this area at the same time, but they also technically never run into each other, which is kind of goofy, but hey, I guess, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, it's basically just like, you know, parts of both are canon. Or something like that. But now that I have... Oh, wait! That's the power room key, of course! The P is for power. I do... It honestly just clicked with me right there that the P stood for power. And now I feel kind of goofy about that. Okay, so... Also, I'm going to be totally honest. I do not know exactly how much of the game I have left. But I am fairly confident I'll be finishing the game today. Actually, I'll just switch that out and I'll put a first aid spray in here. And while I'm here, I might as well also just grab the magnum and kind of upgrade that with the parts. Uh, how, how it will change it, I don't know, but honestly... Well, if it... Look, it's good. If it... All I'm gonna say is if I can make the magnum even better, I don't even know if that's feasible. Okay, so we also have a heal with us, so let's just make a run for it. No, wait. There's something glowing there. Can I... Okay, I can get the map of the lab. I realistically don't need it, but hey, I have the map of the lab now. 
Uh, honestly, I think I know my way around. I think I know my way around well enough now that I probably don't need the map. Because, honestly, uh, I'll be... If I'm... Okay. Every time, one of these things falls out of a vent. Every single time, and it always gets me. Dead? No? Dead. Great. Honestly, at this point, I think I'm taking the appearance of these liquors personally. Because it's just like, hey, hey, it fell out of a vent and it kind of startled me again. Bang. I will say, I do love the shotgun sound in this game, though. Like, it's just one of those, like, it's just, it's a, a, it's a good sound for a shotgun, you know? It just has that kind of, like, raw kind of power to it. Like, I don't know. I think it's just one of those things, like, if your game has guns in it, like, they need to feel, like, powerful, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I will definitely say the shotgun in Resident Evil 2, especially when it's upgraded, feels powerful. Like, yeah, I mean, obviously it visibly is in terms of the effects it has when it hits a zombie, and also the fact that it can take out the more powerful enemies in, like, two or three shots each. Like, it, it brings down Mr. X in, what, like, five? I think it was, like, five shots to bring down Mr. X. And honestly, that's pretty good. Also, I don't know if I actually... But Ivy came back? You know what? I'll just leave that. If I can just comfortably run around it like that, I'll just leave that there. And now that I think about it, I don't even know if I need to come back through here. So I'm going to detour to this blue path. Because now that I've actually uh, kind of registered Leon's fingerprint, I might as well go and open up this door. Because honestly, if I finish this game and don't see what's behind this door, it's going to really bug me. So let's... Uh, so now we just uh, secondary do that. Both fingerprints are verified. We can now head on in. So what is beyond this door? I kind of like the music in here already. Okay. Two liquors by the looks of things. Okay, I need to... I need to get better positioning here for certain. Actually, I already killed one. You know what? For science purposes, I'm gonna fight this thing. I'm gonna fight the other one. Oh! Oh, there's two more. <laughs> uh, okay, you know what? For science purposes, I'll just fight them both with the shotgun at the same time. Oh no, I'm getting stunned. Up. No? Dead? Fantastic. Okay. That was quite a lot, but okay, that's fine. Okay, we grab an SMG, that's kind of nice. Uh, it's broken from the inside. It being broken from the inside is uh, quite an important note, I imagine. Because uh, that... Uh, so, remains of a failed experiment, remains of failed experiments. Okay, I guess it was just the SMG. Okay, that's fine though. Honestly, I haven't used the SMG at all. I'll just use this regular herb, because uh, I probably don't need it, and honestly, I have so many I have so many green herbs, I don't think I'll need them. Honestly, I could probably stand to just put the handgun away now, because honestly, I have probably not all that left to do. I, I don't have all that much left to do, I, I think. And realistically, like, I probably don't have all that much left to do. And on top of that, it's just like, hey, I have, what, 37 shotgun shells and like 40-something shots from the Magnum? Honestly, I don't think the game is going to throw enough enemies at me that that would be a situation where I would run out of ammo. Also, I love the fact that, uh, I, I just love the fact that I killed those zombies when I first came through here, so I didn't need to worry about them. So now, we can take this elevator back up. We can take the elevator back up, and then we can go back through the other corridor, down, down the small elevator, climb up the box, and go f into the power room. And from there, I think we should be on the path to the end, end game. Or at least get something. We I know that at some point we'll get the call from Claire to be like, hey, go get, go get Sher- Oh. You, you 
murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the G-Virus, didn't you? You'll never take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> You're so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. Oh well, that, that's this is rather bad timing. Okay, one, two. Uh, I'm gonna try to make a run for it. No, he, no, he, he swung right. <laughs> Three. Okay, big punch. Four, five, down. Okay, man, buddy, Mr. X, you are like. 7 and 0 or something against me. You should just give up, buddy. Like, it's clearly not working. I will take eight more Magnum rounds, though. Thanks for thanks for your contribution. And uh, I guess Annette just gets to uh, leave for a bit. Because clearly she did not. Because uh, clearly she didn't really plan on Mr. X popping up either. Okay, let's just quickly heal and add the Magnum rounds to the stack. And I assume I'm not going into the end of the end just yet, because I would get a save point and everything as well. Okay, I have 53 shots for the Magnum. There is no chance, not a single chance, that a, that a situation arrives where something takes 53 shots from the Magnum to put down. Um, like, I don't think all of... Like, I think between all of the encounters I've had with Mr. X so far put together, I don't think would come to 53 shots of the Magnum. Because I've encountered him, what, like, six or seven times, I think? I think, and it takes about four to put him down. So, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, that kind of set, that kind of puts uh, a bit of scope on how much Magnum ammo I currently have in my possession. Okay, this is a power room. Is there anything in here? No? I mean, obviously there'll be a power switch somewhere. Run! Ada! Leon, please, escape. No. We're a team. I can't just leave you behind. I'm... just... a woman... who... fell in love with you. Nothing more. Ada. No. Ada! The self-destruction. 
self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat, the self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. I will always remember you. Goodbye, Ada. Okay, so... Okay, I guess I'm going to have to make a little edit when I do this for, uh, to basically just, uh, make this screen a bit darker because, honestly, these constant flashes are not good. I don't like this. Okay, so, uh, sorry, Ada, but we gotta go. Fortunately, we have the master key now, so I know exactly where we need to go. And we'll probably leave this room and get a call from Claire and be like, Hey, Leon, go get Cherry. Right? Oh. Okay, okay. Leon, you made it. Claire, is that you? Where are you? I can see you on the monitor. But never mind that right now. Leon, you have to go back and get Cherry for me. I left her in the security office. Please, you must save her. Wait a second. What are you going to do? Where are you going? I still have a few loose ends to take care of. I'm counting on you. Hello? Claire, are you there? Claire! The security office? Okay. Fortunately, we aren't... Fortunately, we still aren't quite on a timer just yet. And fortunately, there shouldn't be any enemies in this room. Or on my way there. So, uh... Honestly, now that I've said that, I'm probably gonna have magically created, like, seven enemies in that room right next to the security office. But hey... We'll deal with that when we get to it. And honestly, I don't think I... I imagine I will get another item box and save point before I go into the final boss fight. So I imagine I should be okay. And because... Uh, yeah, I think we should be okay just for now. So let's just take this elevator, head back up, go get Sherry, go back to this elevator, take... I uh, take the elevator all the way down, and then we should be good to go towards the end game of RE2. Well, the end of the end game in the B scenario. Now that I, now that I actually like list all of that out, we've done quite a lot. Okay, moment of truth. Is there any enemies in here now? Hopefully there isn't. And there is not. Fantastic. Let's go get Sherry who, at this point, I think, has seen Leon for all of, like, eight seconds. Sherry, I've come to get you out of here. Claire is waiting for you. Okay, so, now we just take the elevator down. Fortunately, it was, a. Uh, Nice enough to just give us a cutscene for this. So now we interact with this. The master key is required. Yes, we'll use the master key to open up the emergency route. So let's get on out of here. And, uh, emer an emergency passageway. An emergency passageway is visible. Will you go down? Yes, yes, we will. Because this should take us directly down to the terrain. And, or at least for elevated to be elevated on the terrain, I don't know. Well, we'll see when we get there. But uh, obviously we have a, we do have another boss fight to do. So, well, we've made it to the train. Just rest here. Claire should be back soon. 
Okay, so we have to head on out. The real question though is, where do I have an item box or anything in here? Do I not have an item box available? I would love to have an item box available. Oh, whatever. I probably don't need it. I have a feeling I don't need it, but if there is one, it'll be in here. Right? Because honestly... Uh... Wait, do I actually not get an item box? Wait, I see something at the back here. And an item box! Fantastic! I did need it! <laughs> I did need this item box. And I also see a little key here, or something, what is this? A platform key, fantastic, I did need to come over here. So, now, let's just uh, switch out a couple of items. And by that I mean, we are now approaching the end of the end game, so it is time to get super serious. And by that I mean, handgun, congratulations, you've done your job for this game. It is time to upgrade to Magnum. It is time to upgrade to the Magnum, and it's time to bring out a couple of first aid sprays. Because, uh, we are now into the danger zone of the end of the game. So, uh, let's get right on over there, and solve the rest of this game. Because I should need to go back through here, off the train, through one thing, and then I think I have a boss fight or two. Who left? I do like how that's just a- I like how that's an automatic door, that's very convenient. I guess it wouldn't make much sense if I had to, like, go through a loading screen to have, like, a tiny thing that's, like, three steps. Okay, so... I don't actually know where I'm meant to go here. Open a tunnel game. Power isn't supplied. So that isn't where I need to be. Is it this way? Yeah, I'll be honest, I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going right now. But this long corridor might be where I need to go. No, this is where I would have come down from, or where Claire would come down from. I think that's where Claire comes down from, because I think she makes a run to here right at the end. So, that tells me maybe my solution is this little gate here. Use the platform key. Fantastic. So, let's go through here. Okay. Five minutes until detonation. Okay, there's the timer. There's the timer that puts me into the danger zone. But what's over here? Is there anything over here that I can pick up? More accurately, is there anything I need to pick up over here that I need? There's just night and box right here. I ran to the back of the train for nothing! But honestly, I think I should be okay with what I have. Because I have, what, uh, 32 shotgun shells, 53 magnum rounds, and 3 full heals. I think I'm okay for whatever the game is gonna throw at me right now. Because, well, with that, I think we're good. I'm more worried about the time than anything else. Storage for high for high capacity plugs. Yes, we can open this. Because we need this. Well, we needed it in the remake. Oh, do we need two? We need two. That's a minor inconvenience. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I guess I'll, you know, no, I'll, man, I have, I have wasted a full minute. Am I going to die of, I'm going to die of the explosion. I just know it. I'm going to run out of time. If I run out of time, honestly, then, uh, honestly, if I die due, due to running out of time, then honestly, I didn't deserve to win. Because realistically, I have put on my clown shoes for like the last two minutes to see. And that's... Okay, so, let's just do this, put the SMG away, because I probably won't need that either. And I'll... You know what, I'll, I'll just grab another first aid spray, because why not? Okay, I have three minutes and fifty seconds. To be totally honest, uh... I don't know, something about a timer appearing always just kind of makes me panic a little bit. I don't know why, because, like, usually you are given in a more than generous time, like, a more than generous amount of time to handle whatever you need to deal with, but honestly, the fact that I have wasted kind of just the last minute and a half doing that isn't exactly the most inspiring for my confidence to do this. So, uh, let's hopefully get through whatever we have left without too much of a hassle. Okay. 
so. Okay, so I should just be a place for me to put these plugs in here. Okay, so, south plug. Okay, emergency mode's been activated, will be cut temporarily. We'll be restored upon activation of the pilot. Okay, so this is now the Super Tyrant. Basically, uh, this is Mr. X, but he has gone further beyond, basically. And he means business. <laughs> uh, that would kill. Okay, I'm in danger now, so now I can- so now I'll just do a full heal. And honestly, I kind of just want to get some distance and fire on him. But he is, he is resilient and he is fast. Use this. Hold Ada, on. Is that you? Ada! Oh, that answers that. I just need to... I'm going to die because I'm, I'm going to die trying to pick this up. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna run. Okay, I'm gonna run over here. Yeah. Dodge him out here. Grab the rocket launcher and blow him up. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, fantastic. He whiffed a swing. Now, let's get a little bit more range. No. Okay, fine. Goodbye. Game over. Okay, so now that's the Super Tyrant gone, dead, and dealt with, I should be able... The power's been supplied to the train. What did I need the North Plug for then? You know what? I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna run for it. I'll keep a hold of this rocket launcher though, because I know what's gonna be coming. However, actually, the timer doesn't go down while I'm in menus. So, I can take a little bit of time right now out to, uh, organize some stuff. So I did use a couple of healing items in that last fight. So, no, I don't want to double back. No, Leon, we aren't doubling back to where we just were. We are on a very bad time schedule here. But, uh, you know, sometimes we have to make just a teensy little bit of time. But I don't think... I think I should be in good stead. I think I shouldn't be in too much danger. Like, I don't think I'm gonna run out of time, is what I'm gonna say. Honestly, I'll just use two individually. Okay, so that solves that. Now, do I have two more first aid sprays or anything? Uh, no, I do not, so I guess... You know what? I'll bring the SMG. Why not? Why not? I'll just bring the SMG, see what it's... Because I haven't fired it once in this entire game. I got it in Claire's run and never used it. So I might as well just get a little bit of use out of it. Maybe it'll be maybe it'll be super useful and I just didn't know. I still wanna know what the Oh wait, I used both plugs. Okay, I don't I don't need the zombie. Wait wait, I think it, I need to hit a power button on the train. I, I had to I had to I had to I had to hit a power button on the train and didn't do it. Okay. So I'm gonna just run past this zombie. Okay, run past these zombies. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take that win. That's fine. I, okay, open we press this, open the tunnel gate, and we have a minute and a half. Okay, this is very dangerous to me right now, because honestly, I am not feeling massively confident about my ability to get all this done in time. I have one minute since, uh, and about 18 seconds left. So let's get to the front of this train and get on out of here. 
because, well, this is a one-way trip that I don't want to have to worry about. Okay, you know what? I don't have a timer anymore. I feel a lot more confident comfortable. What was that? Well, let's go find out. I mean, I already know what it is, but still, let's go find out. Cuz uh, well, warning, biohazardous outbreak imminent. The emergency system has been activated. This train will detonate. Repeat, this train will detonate. Well, okay. I guess we What's had wrong. I don't know. The door won't open. Okay. Well, we have a different timer now. So let's just pull the magnum and go for it. Because we have one final showdown. And just through the stall. And, uh, yeah. Credit, credit to him. Honestly, credit to Birkin for going through, like, six different forms of, like, horrific monstrosity in a single night. Like, that G-Virus really does just go for it, huh? Okay, that's... About it. Seems to be it. That's, uh... Yeah, so even with all that, like, eight magnum rounds put him down. And I had 45 five more spare. Warning. Warning. The self-destruct system has been activated. Each 
train compartment will detonate sequentially. Repeat. Each oh, train no! compartment will detonate sequentially. Claire! Stop the train! I can't! The door to the control room is locked! What? <laughs> Switch. Maybe this one? Sherry! Leon! Ah! Can't hold on. Push the switch over there! Got it! Finally, the exit. Are you all right? I'm okay. Where's Claire? Claire? Claire! Right here! Claire! I guess we all made it. They just won't quit! Come on, we have to get out of here! Run! So, it's finally over. Sherry, you look terrible. No worse than you, Claire. Come on, time to leave. Now? What's wrong? Is something following us? We have to go. We don't have any time to waste. Go? Where? Hey, it's up to us to take out Umbrella. <laughs> Okay, so, with that, we've now finished Resident Evil 2. Yo, honestly, um, I know I said it in Claire's route when I, I got to recruits in that. Uh, I was a little bit concerned when I first started the game, because I played the remake last year just in my free time, and I really liked the remake. And I was a bit concerned like coming back and playing the 1998 original. Like, I was, you know, maybe a little bit worried that it wouldn't hold up quite as well. No, it's, no, it is still, it is still a phenomenal game. And honestly, I feel, I feel very kind of comfortable, like, navigating it. Obviously, there were, there was a couple of times where, you know, it startled me, usually when liquors turned up. Enough, but honestly, the game is fantastic. It still looks great, it still sounds great, it still plays great. But then again, I know that a lot of people are a bit kind of iffy on tank controls and stuff. So, I. Uh, you know, but in general, I would say it is still a fantastic game, and the, and the remake is also fantastic. Genuinely, Resident Evil 2 is just an experience that I would recommend for basically any and everyone to to at least try playing. Because uh, genuinely, I think this game is fantastic, and uh, yeah, it it is genuinely a huge winner. And honestly, I get why it's held in such high regard. I haven't actually played RE3 yet, but I know that that takes place I know that RE3 takes place at least most, at least partially at the same time, because it's like what Jill is doing in the city at the same time. Um, and I know that Claire's adventure to find Chris continues in Code Veronica, but I don't think we see Leon again until RE4. And that's, and I think that's set like six years later or something. But yeah, with that... That is RE2 complete, and I am more than happy with how this game has gone. I think I could have played a couple of the fights a little bit better, you know? It wasn't exactly my cleanest display of gameplay in some aspects. But, uh, yeah. Overall, I would say the game is fantastic, and I would highly, highly recommend it. And also, you can probably just get it on, like, the PS store for probably like, dirt cheap. I don't know the exact pricing on it, but I'm pretty sure you should be able to just pick it up for there, on there for 
basically nothing. And uh, yeah, big fan, would recommend. Now, what kind of grades did we get? Uh, also, this is kind of cool art. I guess, okay, we got the, we got another B rank. Okay, so, unfortunately, because I got both B ranks, I won't actually... Actually, because I got both B ranks, I don't think I'll be able to try 4th Survivor. To do 4th Survivor, I think you have to have uh, at least one A rank. But, uh, I don't know. If it, if it says I've unlocked it, I might try playing it, but if I, but if it doesn't, I guess I'll just kind of skip it. And now, let's uh, just uh, scroll all the way down here and just save. And obviously that will now loop back around to Claire A. I think. Yeah, okay. So with that, we are now... Oh, it just shows us, hey! Stars member Brad became a living dead. He's roaming around somewhere in the police station possessing a special key. Find him and help him rest in peace. Reach to re, uh, reach the police station without getting any items. Basically, that's just like start up scenario A, run through, just like run through without picking up any of the items on your way, and then kill zombie Brad and he drops a special key. Then in the kind of forensics room, safe room, there is as a spe you can you, the words you can use that key and you unlock a couple of additional outfits for Claire and Leon. But with that, I am going to end off of this video and this series here. Yeah, so I don't actually know what I'm going to be doing to replace RE2 because obviously Pokemon will still be ongoing as I'm as I'm going through that. Like I I haven't quite decided on what's going to be replacing RE2. But it will be something as Pokemon continues. It was, but as always, feel free. But I'm going to end off today's episode here. And as always, feel free to leave a comment or click any of the buttons down below if you feel so inclined. And I will hopefully see you all next time for whatever it is I'm doing next, or if you're or watching Pokemon, the next episode of Pokemon. Okay, thanks for watching. Later.